These are our one, two, three, four, five picks for the best gym backpacks. There's no clear winner for which one of these backpacks is our favorite. So we place them into different use case scenarios because at the end of the day, we all have different needs. And the best part is that we actually own all these backpacks ourselves, and we've given them each their own independent review, which you can find in the description below. Okay, class is in session. Time for a quick backpack theory because I want to make sure we're on the same page of what a gym pack is and what it isn't. For me, there's two distinct characteristics for what defines a gym pack. It needs to A, have a ventilated shoe compartment. This means that you can go to the gym with one pair of shoes, have your gym shoes in the bag, swap them out, take your gym shoes off, put them back in the bag, and they're not gonna stink of your bag because the compartment is ventilated. Makes sense. The second thing though, is that the main compartment needs to be no frills. It just needs to be kind of a big area where you can put larger bits of gear. So as long as it has those two things, that's a gym pack as far as we're concerned. Okay, that about wraps up my introduction. Now, uh, are there any questions? Okay, we're gonna start from the smallest capacity to the largest, beginning with the Air Sling Bag 3, or AKA our, I'm just whipping to the gym real fast and going back home, bag. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let's talk about the gist of this bag. As the name infers, it's not a backpack, it's a sling because you only have one strap. The strap, like all air straps, is super cushiony, super well ventilated, and extremely comfortable. The sling can switch sides depending on which shoulder you wanna wear it on. And we got a few compartments. This main compartment right down the middle with a YKK waterproof zip. Pretty basic pocket, just a little compartment right there. To access the main compartment, you have this big old buckle. Unbuckle. Zip it up and we have the main compartment. As you can see right here, this is the ventilated shoe compartment, which can be accessible via the bottom. And the shoe compartment can fit up to a size 12 men's shoe. The main compartment has some decent organization. We got a couple of pockets, zip pocket right here, it runs down the whole length of the sling bag. The laptop compartment is fairly well padded and it can fit up to a 13 inch laptop. Let's talk about some pros and cons of the Air Sling Bag 3. Pro number one, great comfort. Pro number two is the ease of use for tightening and or loosening. The sling bag right there, you got this little contraption right there. But on the flip side, let's talk about some of the cons. Con number one, I don't think it's like the sexiest bag in the world. When it's filled out, it kind of looks like a ball sack to me. Sorry, it does. Just a big old scrotum. And con number two is, like I said, if you are using that ventilated shoe compartment, it's going to eat up basically 90% of the space of the main compartment. To learn more about the Air Sling Bag 3, take a look at the description. We have a link to our full review. Real fast, my name is Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tab. We combine our powers to create Nomad's Nation and we do reviews of things that carry other things. So if that is your thing, we definitely recommend hitting the subscription button and the notification bell so you can know anytime we go live with a new review. Alrighty, next up, number two on the list is the modern Dayfarer backpack, AKA our best work slash gym backpack AKA Aaron's favorite backpack on the list. I love me the modern day fair backpack for a lot of reasons. First of all, we got the 1680 Cordura Ballistic Nylon, the same material that Air uses. It's a little bit less in the gym vibes and a little bit more in like the work vibes. That's why it's our work gym backpack. It's also a 20 liter bag, which to me is perfect for everyday carry because it's usually just enough space for all your stuff without being too big and too bulky. We got the Fidlock magnetic buckle right there that gives you access to the main compartment. Two zips run down either side, giving you full access to the main compartment, which is really this beautiful, creamy color, which gives it a nice highlight effect. The boxy shape is very masculine, very strong. Ventilated shoe compartment on the bottom, which fits up to a size 14 men's shoes. All right, let's talk about some overall pros and some cons of the modern day fairer backpack. Pro number one, I just dig the look. It's smart, it's strong, it's got gym vibes, it's got urban vibes. I just think it looks good. And pro number two is going to be the accessibility when you're actually wearing this bag, because like I said, you can grab things here with the bag on, you can grab things here with the bag on, and you also got this little nifty hidden wallet pocket right on the back panel, super cool. Con number one is while this bag has a boxy shape, we really wish that it would stand up all the time and it doesn't always, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I just wish that it would have like a nice flat surface and it would always stay upright. And con number two, is you gotta be careful when you're closing this guy because these little flaps can end up just like sticking out and like that does not look tight, right? That looks tight. So you just gotta make sure to do like this little tuck job every time you close the bag. To discover more about the modern day Farrah backpack, description below, click the link, full review, 
check it out. Okay, next up, number three on our best gym backpacks list is the Air Duffel Pack 3, AKA the best gym slash work bag. And that's because as the name infers, it's like a duffel pack infused with a backpack. The main compartment itself is just kind of a throw all, just like you want it to be with gym, where you just throw your stuff in there. In the back, we got the laptop compartment right here, sort of a, like a quarter opening, but there's a lot of organization in there. Really nice materials in this mesh. We've got pockets here, pocket, 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 pocket. And this laptop compartment is very well padded and can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. And then on the flip side, we have the ventilated shoe compartment. Here is the ventilation, one, two, Two, three holes. Go ahead and open this guy up and you can see we got this right here. It fits up to a size 13 men's shoes. And because this backpack's a bit bigger, if you got the shoes in there, it's not gonna take up the entire space of the main compartment. So you can fit more stuff in there. This is a 21.4 liter backpack. Yet again, we're dealing with Cordura Ballistic Nylon, super durable, but super smooth to the touch. Pros and cons. Pro number one, this is one of the most comfortable backpacks I have ever reviewed. Love the back padding, love the shoulder straps, but I also like the length of this backpack. It really just sits in your back super nicely and super comfortably. And the second pro is going to be these water bottle holders. I mean, they are beefy. Like you got those big ass protein shakes, you know, you got your creatine powder, whatever it is. I mean, you can fit those in there with room to spare. But I got some cons with this guy too. Con number one is it's like, dude, you're the duffel pack. Why can't you just go into duffel mode? I always wish that there was some sort of like little sleeve right here that you could unclip the shoulder straps hide them, stow them away, and then you have a nice clean sort of duffel experience, carry it on its side, but it doesn't. And I wish that it did. And con number two is I just wish that the key ring pocket was a bit more accessible. You can see right here in this pocket key ring solution. Dope, right? Until you realize you're coming home from the gym and you're just like so tired, you just like beat your record bench pressing, right? And like, I just wanna get inside. It's like, I, I gotta take the bag off to get the keys and that's just kind of annoying sometimes. Especially after shoulders day tab, you are right. Dig in the air, duffel pack two, we'll dig through the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Also should be noted though, in case you think that the air duffel pack three is just a bit too big, check out the air fit pack three instead. Same duffel style opening. Yeah, it's like same, same, just smaller. Check it out. All right, number four on the list is the King Kong Plus 26 backpack, AKA our choice for like the hardcore gym dudes out there. Your shoes and your water bottles are gonna be kept on the outside, which means you have a ton of space on the inside for whatever else it is that you carry. And if one of those things that you carry is a laptop, we have a nice padded laptop compartment right there in the back. As the name suggests, the King Kong Plus 26, this is a 26 liter backpack. So it's a bit on the bigger side. My everyday carry perfect sweet spot is 20 liters. But if you carry a bit more, especially a bit more gym gear, this is gonna be a great option for you. Let's chat about some pros and some cons. Pro number one is I like what they did with the main axis. You have this, like, this little quarter zip pocket right there, and this can get you into the main compartment so you have another access point. And pro number two is that this is actually a really innovative pack. I commend King Kong for taking some risks, but the biggest thing for me is this exterior shoe compartment. One hand, this clip, right, undone, shoes on the outside, more space on the inside, pretty cool. We did a full review on the King Kong Plus 26, which you can find in the description below. But real fast, we also have the King Kong Edge 35, because if like the 26 is too small for you, like you've got a ton of gear that you got to bring to the gym and to work and wherever you're going, this is the big brother to the Plus 26. And finally, Mambo number five on the list is the Monarch Cetra Duffel, or AKA the best gym slash travel slash duffel slash backpack. A lot of slashes, because this thing can do a lot of different things. As a 40 liter duffel, it's big, you know, like see how big this thing is? One of the coolest things about this guy though is that it goes, as you see, we have the bottom of the duffel and you're like, undo the shoulder straps and then you go from duffel mode to backpack mode. There's a lot of duffels that can transform into a backpack, but this is far and away the most comfortable backpack experience for a backpack slash duffel that we've ever experienced. <laughs> that sentence was all over the place, but I think you understand what I'm saying. But as with all gym bags, we need a ventilated shoe compartment, which we have right here. Notice the ventilation. And one cool thing is that this ventilated shoe compartment is actually completely removable. And then finally, Although the outside of this bag has organization heavy, the main compartment is actually quite simplistic, which is like I said, is what we need from a gym pack. 
pros and cons. Pro number one, I haven't mentioned this yet, but it's Monarch's commitment to sustainability. This duffel is made from recycled materials. They're also certified plastic negative and they donate 1% back to the planet. And pro number two is that transition from duffel into backpack isn't just a gimmick, it's a really comfortable experience. But I got some cons as well, sit. It's heavy, 4.5 pounds, 2 kg. All the features are cool, but they are going to add up in weight. And con number two is I think that they may have cut a few corners with the materials. The zippers are not name brands. The mesh is okay. I don't like this material here. The exterior is a little scratchy. These materials are fine, but they just don't feel quite premium for the price tag. To learn more about the Monarch Setra Duffel, take a look in the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. You might be like, ah, I want a gym duffel. That was cool. You threw me a curveball, Aaron. It's best gym backpacks. You put a duffel at the end, but I want a duffel that's more minimalist to which I I say to you, meet boundary. Now this is a duffel slash gym pack as well. As you can see, we got backpack mode, but you can stow these bitches away right there. But it's just more of a minimalist duffel experience. Not as many pockets, nowhere near as heavy. And instead of being 40 liters, it's 35 liters. Lots of cool stuff. To learn more about the boundary supply duffel, take a look at the description we got. Thank you so much for watching our review of the best gym backpacks on planet Earth. What do you think? Do these gym backpacks make the cut? Or did we miss your favorite gym backpack? Let us know which backpack we missed so that other people can read the comments and check out other gym packs. Your comments help make the internet and this YouTube community a more educated place. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.